Hey, how you doing? Under pressure. Let's see. Uh, first, the first loop. <laughs> probably know the D, 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 A, just open D and open A strings. I like to do to kind of flesh it out a little bit, you put a D chord on, like that. Okay, now I'm only playing the bottom, uh, let's see, fourth, third, and second strings. Okay. Now this thing. Okay, this is the uh, last four strings of an open G chord. I got my second finger on the G, that's the third fret first string. And I play the last four strings. Then I play a D chord with an A on top. Okay, got open D, first finger on the A, that's uh, second fret of the third string. This is a D, my second finger's on, uh, that's the third fret of the second string. And my pinky is on the fifth fret of the first string, that's an A. Okay, so from here. I can also still do the lick from this chord too. So I usually start with this. So I keep holding that. Do the same thing. fingering right here is really think about it as a uh, as a D chord uh, here at the uh, fifth fret and what I'm doing uh, oh uh, your D you have a pedal D the open D string that runs through that whole progression so uh, you're playing the uh, second finger on the seventh fret of the third string my third finger is on the seventh fret of the second string and first finger goes on the fifth fret first string and I play those three strings along with open D and the bass, okay? The next chord, keep my first finger on the fifth fret, but then I bar the last two, and my second finger slides down to the sixth fret of the third string, and still the open D at the bottom. So that's an A with D and the bass. Slide this, this fingering down two frets, that creates a G, okay? Now take my second finger, slide it down two frets, and add my third finger, to the second fret of the second string. And I still play the last four strings of the, uh, of the guitar. That's a, a A chord with D in the bass. And the little lick that goes in there, take my pinky and I add it to the third fret second string. That's a D. Pick it up. And I've already got a C sharp under my third finger. Pick up my third finger for an open B. Uh, play the third string that my second finger's on the second fret on. That's an A. Pick that up, open G, and with my fingers off the guitar, that gives me time to get back up to this D formation that we started with. Okay, so. Oh, the picking pattern. Uh, it's just four strings, second string, third string, first, three, two, four, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, did I say that right? Four, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three. I do that same chord progression, but then I uh, I start strumming it instead of the pattern. Okay, and uh, that brings us to that next part. Okay, this is a D chord. Sharp, that's D with C sharp in the bass. Which passes into, I take my first finger off the D and go to the uh, second fret of the fifth string. It's a B minor six. And then a regular old A chord, one, two, three.
G chord. Okay, I'm fingering that 3-2 pinky up top. And then I do an A with G in the bass. I take everything off but my third finger. Take my first finger and wrench it over here into an A power chord. And keep my third finger on the bass. Okay, my third finger is leaning over and muting the fifth string. So you don't hear that ring. And I'm also not playing the high E string. Okay, now you can kind of mute that too. You'd still, uh, uh, with your bar finger right here, and still play the C sharp. Got to double join it. Okay, the next part, a D with F sharp in the bass. Okay. F sharp and the bass is uh, first finger on F sharp, that's second fret, sixth string, then open A, open D, second finger is on the second fret of the third string, that's an A, and then your third finger plays a D, that's the uh, second string, third fret, and right this second I'm avoiding the high E string. Okay, now part of the lick, play the high E string, and then play the note under my third finger, D. I take these two off at the same time, and I play a C sharp, that's second fret, second string, and that gives my third finger time to get over here to the uh, third fret of the sixth string, and I play a piece of G chord. Again, I'm muting the fifth string, so that's a one finger G chord, and I stop before I hit this E string, and then I play a power chord A, just the fifth, fourth, and third strings of it. Okay? So... simplify that just uh, I'd still play the D with F sharp so, yeah. and just a G chord and a that sounds good too and back to it C chord. You put your uh, second finger on the E, that's the fourth string, second fret. First finger goes on C, that's the first fret of the second string. When you do that, that turns that chord into a C with G in the bass. sings like Freddie Mercury. So what I try to do is, uh, as I start my glissando, but I aim for this pitch. I'm playing my, my bar chord F here. And on the first string, that note right there, I go, I go for that note. And I can hit that note pretty well. And it sounds okay. Let's see. Uh, um, keep coming up with love, but it's so slashed and torn.
that part. Uh, the in Sandy Lass, you're hitting a pounding, an A chord. And you go into a D chord. Uh, the, the lick for the Can't We Give Ourselves One More Chance. A D, G, A. And then I slide my third finger over and make it A suspended. See, so third finger's right here on A. I slide it up to the third fret, second string. And it gives you that yeah. Back to the D chord, so. tell you what I did okay uh, did that part because you noticed that uh, that beautiful transition is so it's one of my favorite parts of that song so you just Freddie scream why why can't we give love give love part the G to the A with the G in the bass. Okay, the last part is this part. Okay. This is a piece of an E minor chord. Uh, again, you're going to use that pedal D, in other words, open D string. Okay, uh, my third finger is on the ninth fret third string. Second finger is on this G, that is the, uh, excuse me, eighth fret second string. Uh, first finger is on the uh, seventh fret first string. I play the last four strings, including that open D. Just a strum it, and then I go back down to second string, third string, and then I slide into that chord. That's a piece of an A. Um, my first finger is barring the last two strings at the fifth fret. Second finger is playing eighth fret third string and again the open D. So okay. Yeah, isn't that a great song? Well I hope this helps you. Uh, I think uh, you can kind of pull it off with an acoustic guitar and still really you know hold true to the spirit of the song. But I hope that helps you. But you guys take care. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.